Hello, welcome everyone. Welcome to the fifth part of the Kotlin Coroutines playlist. In this part, we will see scopes that we can launch our coroutines in. And uh, mainly, we have two scopes, which are the lifecycle scope that is tied to the, our activity lifecycle, and then the view model scope that is, of course, uh, tied to our view model lifecycle. And here I have prepared some UI. I have two screens, uh, home screen and second screen. We have in each screen, we have a button. So when I click on the button in the home screen, I navigate to the second screen. And then in the second screen, I have another button. And then when I click on that button, I, I actually uh, start a new activity, which is the, this activity here that I also created right here. So let's see now how it goes. This is our main activity in our uh, home screen. When we click on go, we go to the second screen. And then when we click on go to new activity, then we start a brand new activity. And of course, we can go back. So let's first start with uh, basically the one that we want to use usually in our UI, which is uh, launched effect, which is, uh, of course, gives us a coroutine scope, but inside a composable. And as we know that anything that changes, any state that changes in our screen, then our entire composable will recompose or will be recreated, you can say. And uh, we don't want that so uh, for our coroutine to also be recreated. That's why we have launched effect like this. And then we don't need block here. We need a key. This key is that something that we want to change. So in this case, let's just say true. But let's suppose we have a state like uh, a state for showing a toast, for example, and or a channel for showing a toast to the user. And then we want when that channel changes something, when that channel emits something, then we want to launch or to fire this launched effect. Otherwise, we don't want that. In here, of course, we get a coroutine scope. Then we can write anything in here that will be executed inside a coroutine. And this is, of course, in our main thread. So this is it now for if we want to have a coroutine scope inside our composable, then we want to use a launched effect in the key that changes. So we don't always uh, change the entire thing when uh, we want to fire this. Uh, otherwise, if this key doesn't change it, uh, then we don't want to do anything. Now, this is it for uh, composables, but let's now see activity. So... If you want to have a coroutine scope, but inside our activity, then we can use life cycle scopes. But of course, we can't have life cycle scope inside a composable block that is set content. And of course, all of these are just composable blocks. So here in my screen, if I want to say life cycle scope, then I don't even get anything. But we can only actually have it inside our on create. So outside of our composable uh, block here, set content, then we can say, of course, life cycle scope here dot launch. And let's say if I copy this and I paste it here, then it would just, oops, I need L. It would just tell me that you can't do this inside a composable block. Uh, or if I, for example, let's, because that was outside of my activity, actually, if I try it here, then it will show me an error that we can't have it here. We need to use a uh, launched effect, as I said. But right now here, we can have a, a coroutine scope that is, of course, tied to our main activity so if our main activity is destroyed then this also will be uh, destroyed as well so let's actually try that out by uh, having a loop or something like so so say while true for example then we want to print something let's uh, say delay for like two seconds and then log dot d is the same tag as the previous videos And let's say life cycle scope. Like this, life cycle scope, like this. Uh, so basically, this will be printed every two seconds. And uh, if I finish my activity right here before navigating, then this will be uh, finished as well. So we won't get this anymore. Unlike if I use a global scope, then it will keep printing this. So let's run the app and see. As you can see life cycle scope after two seconds another life cycle scope and if i now go to the new activity then i won't get anything anymore because the activity is destroyed and of course the coroutine as well is destroyed so this is it for now life cycle scope and we of course have a view model scope that i i can't have right here so we can have view model scope and it's actually the same thing. So if I didn't want to create a view model because I will need to create a view model factory, which is a lot for this video. 
and of course it's just the same uh Christian scopes are now tied to our view model scope basically our view model life cycle so if i create a view model in my home screen then once i don't want my home screen anymore then uh, the view model is destroyed or is cleared and of course the same for the protein scope inside it that have uh, the view model scope so this is it now for the scopes see you in the next video which is about uh, ram blocking so bye